Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Tambic with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about every cell shaded collection X Men the animated series Marvel Legends. And then jumping into my bread and butter, I know G.I. Joe is something I collect as well, so that was my bread and butter too, but Marvel Legends is what I've collected for the longest. Alright, then coming into something crazy here, we got animated series. So they had the interview with the creators of the X-Men animated series, which was most of our favorite stuff. This is going to be a Pulse and Shop Disney exclusive with Wolverine and Jubilee from the cartoon. Wolverine, two different head sculpts, Jubilee, two different head sculpts, different sets of glasses, effects, different hands and claws with Wolverine, and the picture frame of him looking at Gene and Scott. So there's the interview, they're showing off what kind of packaging this comes in, and it kind of has this VHS-esque look to it. There's that Wolverine, there's the package, Jubilee front and back of her package, and there it is from the side looking like a VHS tape. It's going to be taller than a VHS tape, but it just has that nostalgic look of it so you can set it on your shelves if you want to. So there's the front back, and you see that shadow effect there, where you're real nostalgic with this with the TMNT NECA figures, because they have that too, to give it that cartoon shadowy look. So you can see a lot of it on the head there, on the legs, on the chest. Not sure what I think about it. Let me know how you guys feel about that shadow effect on these Marvel Legends. Got that hair on the arms too, that's pretty cool. So that was all the renderings of the figures. Here is the actual images of the figures in hand. Two different face sculpts for the Wolverine there with the Grimace and the Stoic. Both sets with claws here. And you can see what he comes with, the extra hands with no claws, and also the picture frame with Gene and Scott. You can see that cell shading on the more uh, zoomed in picture there. And then here are all the angles of the packaging as well. And here's our Jubilee from all different angles, again with the shadowing effect on her. So here is the actual figure for Jubilee rather than the renderings. You see the effects on her hands there, the glasses with the shade selling on those. And then from the side of her body, you can see that brown cell shading over the yellow jacket. And on the feet, you can see the darker blue over the lighter blue. So that's the cell shading effect there. And the Wolverine and Jubilee up close. And like how Wolverine actually took the photo out of the frame. That's pretty cool. up close on our Jubilee. Different angles of the package. So these packages are very reminiscent to me of the Hasbro exclusive Army Builder packages. So it's kind of a good idea to reuse those and not have to use plastic. So not even a week after they did their biggest event of the year, they've done another event with Hasbro where they show every single premium member something new and give them the ability to pre-order it. First off we'll talk about Marvel Legends and you have this X-Men the Animated Series Mr. Sinister figure. You can see him from the front and the back here. It's got that new repaint there where you can see the shadow effects as if it's the animated series. They call that cell shading. There's the package. You can see the sides of the box in the back. They'd already shown us the Jubilee and the Wolverine from this series. There you can see the figure from the side. And again from the back. 
So that was the renderings of the Mr. Sinister. Here's the actual figure of Mr. Sinister with the cell shading. You can especially see it up in the hood there where it's kind of black to red. I don't have a lot of the cell shading on the cape though. and all the different angles of the package. So here's the renderings of the three figures so far. Thanks to Dan Hu for this nice shot of the figures with the packages, VHS cassettes behind them. All right, the newest one on fan first Monday for Marvel Legends, February 21st, 2022. We got another reveal here. This time we have the Storm figure here, cell shaded. You see her nice do there. When you look at her eyes, I do think that they got blue tint to them. Got the yellow earrings there, the lightning bolts. Really nice cell shading on this one. You see the cell shading on her uh, cloak there as well. There's her hands, extra hands, regular hands. It's a really cool new head sculpt there. And then there's your packaging as well from the front and the side. Looks like the VHS tape. And these are going up on pre-order February 22nd, 2022, 1 p.m. This is a Pulse and Shop Disney exclusive for these cell shaded figures. So here's the other angles of the package. Here's all four angles of the figure. So there's some more in renderings of her. I shouldn't say renderings, these are actual figures. 90s animated storm. And revealed about the same time was the Rhino Vintage card here with Storm. It's a pretty cool reveal here. So yeah, that was those four. Guess what? We got another one. So here we go with our Jean Grey figure, cell shaded. Here's the front, back, and side of the package, which of course, like I said, looks like a VHS box. There's the front side of it as well. So there's Jean, two different head sculpts. One with her hair in a ponytail, one with it down. And you can see it from different angles as well, showing that cell shading on it. Like I said, two different head sculpts, two different sets of hands, fisted and open. Has the gauntlets on her hands, shoulder pads there with that cell shading on it. You can really see the cell shading up on her arms and on the front side of her legs there. So there's those five. Get on over to Hasbro Pulse if you want to get them ordered, hopefully. So here we are with Morph. First time we've seen Morph in Marvel Legends in this form. And of course, this is from the animated series. So this is the form we remember when he got all sick and his eyes got all black. But Morph had the ability to change shapes. We only get the two morph heads here. He does have the bomber jacket. So that's pretty cool looking. I only really like the dark eyes head myself. That's the only way I can really tell his morph. But he does have fisted and open hands. Would have loved to have seen some other head sculpts here, like he was changing shapes into something else maybe. But there's that package. Side and front. So the back right there, you shake shifter, morph, return to haunt the X-Men after being captured and manipulated by Mr. Sinister. So again, there's a nice close-up of those faces. And then we have the X-Men, the animated series, cell-shaded VHS tape 
box version here and she is going to come with a little baby nightcrawler which is just a repaint of the baby hulk from the logan hawkeye old man pack there's all the package from different sides and i want to kind of zoom in on something here in a minute but here she's holding nightcrawler as her baby holding both of the guns And there it is. There is your comparison between the figure we're actually getting and the artwork that we have on the box. Now I'm going to zoom in on little pieces of it so we can see what in the world I'm talking about, okay? So here we go. So we zoom in on the head and you can see the figure on the left versus the cardboard on the right the picture. Not too bad on the head sculpt. Um, I'm not seeing too awful much difference, but I definitely can tell the, the shot that we took in the, in the cardboard looks a lot more detailed in the eyes. Maybe the angle, but definitely I see it a little better on the cardboard but notice on the cardboard the paint the white paint goes all the way up the neck versus what we got in figure form and I like that so much better on the uh, picture we got on the cardboard look at the elbows so you got your figure up here with these little weak elbows and then you got your cardboard here with the double jointed elbows so they definitely change the elbows as well compared to what we had in the picture on the box and of course since we're in a plasticless box we can't actually physically see a figure anyway check this out the cardboard picture versus the actual figure look at the detail on those skulls on the cardboard compared to what we are actually getting in figure form that's pitiful it looks so good in the cardboard picture and then with the knees the figure has very very weak knees those things are just going to start slacking on us look how deep the the grooves are in the uh, joints there compared to the cardboard picture there how, how tight those knees are so i don't know what hasbro is doing i mean if they're going to you know give us a box without plastic at least take a picture of the actual figure we're getting and put it on the package instead of what they've done here this, this is just not right we are getting another animated series X-Men, this time Cyclops. So yeah, 90's animated series Cyclops here, way up close. Got the different hands there, front and back of the package. Side of the package there as well, like a VHS tape. And you can see that cell shading all over him. Got the fingers there, you can make it look like he's actually using the mask there. hair sculpt and so there's all of the animated series so far loose and from the front of the package and from the back of the package from the sides of the package And the other side of the package are these five. And lined up like if they're on the shelf as a VHS tape. So you can run over to Hasbro Pulse if you haven't gotten these ordered. These are exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. Get your VHS tapes. And thanks to Dan Who, here's a nice shot of all the boxes from the side. I like the way he's got it turned where the villains are pointing one way and the heroes are pointing the other. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me down in the comments. Hit that notification bell for every new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if I'm ready. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos. 